Okay. End turn. Sorry there, Artina. Oh, you... You... Okay, she... How? Why would you go there? I hate this chapter. I really, really do. Uh... Okay, so... We are going to cross Demon Rush you. We are going to go over here and hopefully attack you with a dual canine attack. Come on, game! Seriously. You're starting to really irritate me. Okay, so I want to just kind of move her right in this position. Okay, first things first, I want to heal up uh, you. Right here? Okay. Now we need to kill you! You need to die! Alright, here we go. Here we are. Perfect. Come on! You had an 80% chance of hitting and you missed! Are you kidding me right now? I hate this chapter! I really hate it. Lift, Frankie, you go over here, you bitch. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to throw this character in a perfect position to get wrecked. Time to get wrecked, bitch. Here I come. You are getting lifted. Come. You are getting thrown right here. I'm gonna put one, two, three. Why are you looking that way? fucking hate this chapter. I really hate this chapter. I cannot tell you guys enough how much I hate this chapter. So it target height problem. Target height problem. Good job. This is this is going well. And by well, I mean it's freaking hor horrifyingly bad right now. Uh 40% chance. Great. 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 I hate this chapter. There is no words for how much I despise this chapter. Oh, we're not actually hit. Great. And now Fenric's gonna die. Would you mind Fenric? Oh my god, Fenric. Get me out of here. And turn. Three characters remain. And now my other healer is dead. So if I don't do this, I can't see what's going on. Uh, if my characters don't do this, we're screwed. Oh my god. You need to be flagooted badly. Oh my god, it's 50. Percent chance? Are we kidding right now? Oh my god. 57%. We gotta go for it. We gotta go for this. We gotta go for it. We gotta go for this. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Two characters remain. Skip demo? No. Oh my god, this chapter stunk. Now pray, aliens, damn it! With all you've got, pray to God and the angels! Y yes sir You wouldn't have gotten hurt if you had just done this while I was being nice, fools. How dare you make my lord kneel before you! You alien imbeciles! Pray as if your lives depend on it, because one way or the other, they do! Can we collect our energy by forcing them to pray? Absolutely not! Lady Fly, 
on. We won't be able to collect enough awe energy if you threaten them into praying. But we can still get some? That's awful! I see. If threatening them won't work, then we have no choice but to do it ourselves. Please, don't be rash, my lord. Hey, Lass! Why don't you pray? You're closer to being human than any of us. I am a human, and I've been praying my butt off! God, I shouldn't have relied on this idiot to get the job done. Desco, what about you? Show them what you've got as a final boss. Desco really doesn't want to, but... How can she refuse after seeing Mr. Valzi? Okay, fine. Pretty please, Great Flanzor X. Please return the moon to where it was. <laughs> Ooh, there it is! Massive awe energy! We're almost there. Please show your faith and send it towards Great Flanzor X. You're next, Wilp. Go! I can't believe I'm about to do this. This is only to save the netherworld. I'm counting on you, Great Flonzer X! praying since the beginning. It's about time for you to give in, Mr. Werewolf. I've got this. No problem. I'll show them the prayer of a proud and noble demon! Wait, my lord, please. If you're willing, then... then... I will pray instead. Ah, then I'm counting on you, Fenric. Show me what you got! Hey, damn piece of crap, Angel Robot! You better get this done! If you fail, I'll smite you to the ground! Um, you're supposed to be praying, remember? That is my way of praying! Is there a problem with that? Of course there is, Flea Brain! Do you really want this to succeed? I know it's degrading, but this isn't the time to joke around, you know? The moon is a special and important place for you, right, Mr. Fen Fen? You're not gonna save it like that! <laughs> I know that, but... Huh? What's going on now? Is this? See? That is the power of my prayer. Are you serious? Are God and the angels masochists? <laughs> How's that? Did our prayers from the netherworld reach you? Axel. That's right, it's me, the 62nd president of the netherworld. You can skip the explanations, I know all about it. Axel, the dark hero, is the only one who can save the world from this crisis. The demons of the netherworld are completely in love with me, following my presidential inauguration celebration show. I've asked my fans to temporarily convert their admiration for me into prayers to God. <laughs> Not bad for Axel. <laughs> it was actually the Information Bureau that did that. Father! Emizo, I've been watching you from the netherworld. You've gotten so strong. I'm proud of you, son. Father? Well, I'm supposed to be strong because I'm your son. Everyone! Another wave is approaching us! This time, the energy is even stronger! Whoa! 
Hey, how's everything going here, Fuka and Desko? My wonderful daughters. Dad? Are you the source of this new wave, Daddy? Nope, I'm not. This is the awe energy from Earth. What? But I thought the humans had already lost faith in us. Oh, they definitely did. However, things have taken a turn for the better. And it's all thanks to you guys up here. I've been broadcasting your battles from beyond the Earth on every TV channel. Alfred Torres, many humans were moved by your actions. There's no scientific proof of this, but I think I know why you were so strong. Hm. It's not all because of me. It's thanks to my friends here. And also Sardines. By the way, Fuka, you still seem to think this is a dream. <laughs> but you really did die, you know. Ugh, shut up, old man! <laughs> well... Good luck! Cool! Do we have enough awe energy now? No! We still need a little bit more to move the moon! Fenwick. Yes, Lord Val. You make the final call. This is up to you. But... The only person I have faith in is Lord Valvatoris. And no one else. That's good enough. Believe in your faith towards me and pray that our allegiance will last forever. That is your prayer. My allegiance to Lord Val. You're going to dedicate your life to me? I just saved your life. Why would you want to do that? efforts to save you will only be made worthwhile if you use your life to fulfill your own desires. And that is why I'd like to dedicate the rest of my life to you. That is my desire. You're serious, huh? Just so you know, it's not going to be an easy path to follow. Whatever you wish to do will be my command. I will serve you for the rest of my life. I make this vow to the moon, which is the source of all werewolves' power. Excellent. I will engrave that vow in my heart as well. You shall serve me as long as the moon shines, Fenric. Understood. All is for my lord. This man is the master I have been searching for. This man is the hero who will one day rule the world. Understood, Lord Val. I will pray for you. The Great Flanzo X! Go! As expected of you, my servant. <laughs> All is for my lord, my lord. Go, Great Flanzor X! The awe energy is charged up to 120%! Release the love field! The moon? Is it back in place? Yes! The moon is back in its orbit! Everything is fixed! Oh! Thank you so much, Lady Flan! You've saved us! Do we need to thank her, too? I get the feeling she only came here to make things more difficult. Right. This isn't my or Great Flan's or X's work. This was all thanks to the love we received from all around the world! Oh, Desko gets it! Desko has awakened to love! Did Desko?
go get a new skill? <laughs> Preaching about love to demons, huh? This Archangel is rather interesting. Uh, I, I don't care for this love talk, but basically, the moon, earth, and netherworld were all saved, right? Yep, we saved them all! We did it! So, it's pretty much decided that I'm the ruler of the human world now, right? And that was how Tyrant Valvatoris and his allies successfully stopped the moon from falling. Their accomplishment was reported to all 20 billion planets of the Pan-Galactic Alliance. And before long, they were declared the most wanted criminals in the entire universe. But that's a story for another day. It's too soon to celebrate. Nemo! I don't know what you guys did to put the moon back into its orbit. But I'm just gonna keep doing it over and over and... What the hell's his problem? Huh? What's with this sticky cold air? Tesco is scared! So something bad is gonna happen! This evil feeling... It's coming from Earth! However, it's too strong to be coming from the humans. Extremely loathsome... And ominous... The word evil can... Even describe how dark and confusing this emotion is! A malicious soul is embracing the world. This is nothing but chaos. No! It's already been activated! The final scheme for human destruction! Fear the Great! Fear the Great! A legendary source of negative energy! I have no idea what's going on, but I think the next episode really is going to be the final one! What? Is it really? Uh, then let me say one more thing. The ominous aura that hovers over the human world. We must do whatever it takes to get rid of it. Desco will become the final boss. She will not lose to fear the great! The world will belong to my master, Lord Belvatores. No one will get in his way, not even fear the great! Next time, final episode, Disgaea 4, the real finale. Ties deeper than darkness. Just wait and fall into despair. <laughs> Just don't forget the name of this fish, Bathyprion Denai, Xenodomictus Nodulosis, because it just sounds cool. Your commitment and devotion to sardines is quite admirable. Fear the great I've only heard of it, but I didn't think it was real! A system to destroy the world by absorbing malice and giving it a physical form! That is the program known as Fear the Great! System? Program? To simplify it even more for you, idiot, it means that the world is going to be destroyed by the malice of the stupid humans. But why does this have to happen now? Is this the work of the aliens, too? No! The activation of Fear the Great can only be done by an order from God! God? Isn't God supposed to help us? God isn't here to save humans. God is not like demons and angels. He presides over the entire universe, but he isn't on anyone's side. <laughs> it's his job to pretend to have almighty power and keep order in the universe extinction of human beings, when compared to the vastness of the universe, probably isn't that big of a deal to him. However, there must be some reason Fear the Great was activated. Why has God decided to destroy the humans? Is it because Fen Fen didn't say his prayers seriously? Well, according to what I've read, Fear the Great is activated when the amount of malice on a planet exceeds a certain level. 
It has been activated seven times in the past, and the targeted planets and their residents have all been completely wiped out. Every planet in the universe is said to be equipped with this program. Getting killed by your own malice. What an ironic system. So, was Nemo the trigger that activated Fear the Great? Most likely, yes. Fear the Great possesses the person with the most malice and continues to grow by feeding on malice all around the world. We have to do something before it's too late. But what are we supposed to do? The human world is full of malice. It might already be too late. Hmm. Crying about it isn't going to turn things around. Isn't there a way to stop Fear the Great? Unfortunately, not that I know of. It can't be helped. No one has ever successfully stopped Fear the Great in the past. Then it's up to us to change history with our own hands. If you're that determined, then I'll go ahead and open the path to Fear the Great. Only we, the ones with the power of light, can do that. Thanks. God, watch us now! We'll stop this arrogant system you've created and crush your ego! Is that even possible? Fighting a system that was created by God? What's the matter, Desco? Are you saying that you're afraid of God? Hmm. No way! Desco will beat the crap out of God! What about you, Rascal? Will you follow the destiny that was laid out by God? I'm... Uh, I'm gonna go with you, of course. So what about God? I can't be a demon if I'm afraid of him. What do you say, lass? Do you even have to ask? If I save the world from this crisis, I'll definitely become the ruler of Earth. There's no reason for me to ignore this awesome opportunity. Fenric, are you... Actually, never mind. Yes. All is for my lord. Then shall we head out to rebel against God? Please, wait. Why didn't you ask me? Are you sure? You'll be going against God. You know that, right, Angel? Still, I want to come. I have responsibilities, too. Okay. Then do what you want. Mr. Vampire, you're not going to ask me any questions, are you? Aren't you curious to find out what happened between me and Nemo? I can wait till you're willing to talk about it. After all, that's what allies do for each other. Allies? So you accept me as an ally? I'm honored. The real final episode! Ties deeper than darkness! Alright guys, I will be seeing you guys next time for some more fun and action in the final chapter. See you guys next time for some more fun and action with me, the Sample Man. Peace!